cardio um, does uh, eliminates a lot of that thinking, so you can just go out there and play fast. Um, when you're playing fast, you're keeping the defense on their toes. Um, they don't know what's coming next. So um, I think that's that's we we like to get our cleats in the ground and be fast off the line of scrimmage and kind of explode off the ball. Thank you. Aaron, how was uh, last week returning to Green Bay? You guys had a really good week, and oh yes, sir, it was uh, it was amazing. Uh, we had you know we had a the turnout that I wanted, which was to go out there and get a W, but just the reception that I had, all the fans, uh, even though I'm wearing a purple jersey, they, they were still showing love. Uh, it was a couple billboards there in, in Green Bay um, throughout the city, so I, I truly felt the love, and I, I thank the fans there for making it special for me. How's this trip been so far in the purple jersey as the green one two years ago? Uh, it's, it's been great. We got here this morning, uh, hot, fresh off the plane, onto some movement meetings and then practice so uh but it's, it's been good I'm, I'm enjoying myself got to spend spend a lot of time with my teammates on the flight and here so you, you can't beat it this is a nice this hotel is very nice so um it's excellent i've stayed i stayed here last time so kind of i'm like i, I know where i'm going <laughs> it feels like you've done this already you know? this feels like i've done it before yes sir <laughs> How's it been to be in this offense right now? Like you're just at home, as if it's just another day playing the game that you love. Uh, yes, sir. That's exactly what it feels like. Like I'm back. Uh, like, like is is I feel like it fits me perfectly. Um, the way Ko incorporates incorporates guys, uh, finds the mismatches. Whether it's, whether man, you may be the key on the play, whether you're getting the ball, or you may be the decoy on the play, you never know. But uh, it's just the way he finds those matchups to uh, get us in favorable, like favorable matchups, like I said. But uh, uh, I love every part of it: spreading the field, getting the ball in different ways, and creating space. Having all the new guys that was able to really just add to the defense, and really the type of people that they are before, even before football players, the fact that they're able to come in and be really humble to learn something new and especially a defense like ours that's not really orthodox like everybody else's. Um, he, everybody that we brought in really is open to learn. And what was the flight like and what's your kind of like schedule for the next 36 hours? Um, the flight was easy for me. I, I like traveling a lot and I travel um, back to back and forth to the Philippines a lot. So the flight felt short. I wish it was a little longer so I could sleep, sleep more, but um, it was fun. They uh, had a nice big plane for us. So uh, we got to spread out and lay down. So really the next few hours is just try and stay up to get back on that sleep schedule. Are you looking at blue lights and stuff? Yeah, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I've been a uh, really, I haven't been that, that tired, but I need to know that tonight I need to get to sleep so I'm not jet lagged. What are blue lights? It's, it's, it's the like, stuff that helps you sleep, oh, right? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you guys got in yesterday morning? Uh, today, this Today, yes. coming off the plane, going yep, right, to practice, right to practice. But I, it sounds like you're used to it. Yeah, uh, really just, for me, I travel a lot, so I like I thrive in the chaos, and I like just the, the mess of a schedule that we have right now. Um, but they did a really good job making sure that everything times up with our game time, so our body clock is, is going the right way. So I'm excited to be able to play over here. I know you said that um, like you like to travel. Have you gotten mm -hmm. to see any of London before? Favorite things about the city? Um, not much, just because last time we stayed kind of far from the city, so I've never really been downtown or um, in that area. So I'm excited after the game we get to stay there. So Oh, you do what's on the list? Uh, really just walking around. Um, I'll rent one of those scooters, those electric scooters, and just ride around the city. <laughs> Um, oh, look once out. everything's closed. We so don't want you injured. That, no, that's <laughs> right. I, I stay on the sidewalk, so okay. I'll be safe. Um, anything British that you really like, like whether a food or a television show or a celebrity? Um, Jacob Collier. He's a musician out here. I'm not okay. sure how popular um, to the normal people, but musician. I play instruments, so he's one of the best um, instrumentalists in the world. He can play every instrument, so I'm a big fan of him, and really he's my favorite, one of my favorite musicians. That's cool. What do you play? Yeah, piano. What? Do you yeah. sing too? No, I wish that, that's why I play piano, because I can't sing. Okay, I'll sing. <laughs> you play piano. Is that like All a deal? Right, <laughs> <laughs> okay, going into this game, undefeated 4-0, um, mm -hmm. is that a lot of pressure? And, and what's been the secret sauce so far? I think you guys have surprised everyone. Um, really, the secret sauce is ignoring the record and ignoring the fact that we are 4-0 and just realizing that that doesn't matter. Um, really, the next game is the only thing that matters. So really, everything that's happened in the past, in the past four weeks, we just learn from it, whether it's a good or bad lesson, and take it to the next week so we can win again. I mean, obviously, going up against not just the Jets, but Aaron Rodgers, that mm -hmm. intimidating. Like, what, what are you guys looking out for, and how do you think you're going to stack up? Uh, you look forward to the competition, going against a great like that, and especially played against him a lot in the past when he was with the Packers, so seeing him twice a year. Um, so going 
going going to this game, um, it's exciting to see him again and be able to compete with one of the best that to ever do it. So we know that it's going to be a good matchup and it'll be competitive, but that's that's how we want it. And obviously, you know, Sam has surprised everyone. What's he like, like in the locker room? What's he like as a person and a teammate, leader, is he, or he's just like the listener does what he's told? Uh, no, he's re he's really cool person. He's a um, a people person, but also really, I wouldn't say quiet, but doesn't isn't go, doesn't go out of his way to do too much. He's just really chill and really relaxed. Um, but he really does. He's really a professional. He uh, stays there late. He's always there early. My parking spot is next to his, and his car. Is, he always beats me, and I get there pretty early, so his car is already <laughs> parked before mine. And when I leave, he's still he's one of the last ones in the locker room also. So just seeing a guy like that be the leader, um, that's always putting in extra work, taking care of his body, and always studying. That's somebody that you want to lead the team. What's your, what's your favorite part about getting to play in the London games? Just the football side of it first. Yeah, I think uh, for one, um, it's a cool experience with your teammates. Um, you know, we spend a, a lot of time together um, throughout the year, but to get an experience like this and to go out the country and uh, spend all day, seven hour, eight hour flight with a guy and then, you know, come here and, you know, just experience a different culture with him. Uh, it definitely helps build relationships. Then I, I think another cool part about it is just seeing how much football has grown in the UK and like seeing like all these different fans. That's my guy right there. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how you doing? That's a UK game. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, my, it's my UK game. It's my gang too. Don't worry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just seeing the different fans and seeing how much people really love football. And uh, I know, I know the first time we uh, played out here, driving to the game, I think I counted all 32 teams I seen the jersey from. I know that's which the is kind of crazy. Right? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, so it's fun though. You know, they don't really have teams. You know, just really just love football, and that, that's what I'm about.